Hello and welcome to The Conversation at Airsafe.com, sponsored by Speed Break Publishing. I'm your host, Dr. Todd Curtis, the creator of Airsafe.com, your reliable source of airline safety and security information since 1996. In this conversation, I'd like to talk about two accidents that happened during the first week of January 2008. The first event was on the 2nd of January and involved an Iran Air Fokker F-100 aircraft. This aircraft was on a scheduled domestic flight from Tehran to Shiraz, Iran. The aircraft skidded off the runway during the takeoff attempt. There was reportedly landing gear damage and a post-crash fire, but all six crew members and 53 passengers were able to escape. It was snowing at the time of the takeoff. Because this event did not cause a passenger fatality, it's not counted as a fatal event as defined by airsafe.com. In general, airsafe.com defines a fatal event as any occurrence involving an airliner where at least one passenger was killed. Furthermore, the aircraft model has to be one that's commonly used for passenger service in North America or Western Europe or Australia. An event that did not meet these criteria occurred on the 4th of January. On that day, a Transaven Let 410 aircraft, which is a twin turboprop aircraft designed in Eastern Europe, was on a scheduled domestic flight from Caracas to Los Roques which is a set of islands in the Caribbean north of Caracas. The crew reported engine failure during the approach to Los Roques, after which contact with the aircraft was lost. There were two crew members and 12 passengers on board, and their fates are at present unknown. After this brief message, we'll be back with a request of you, the listening audience. If you have a serious interest in the study of aviation safety, one of the key skills you have to have is the ability to analyze data. My book, Understanding Aviation Safety Data, might be the perfect tool for that job. Based on my experiences from analyzing thousands of incidents and accidents, this book has detailed step-by-step procedures for asking and answering the 12 basic kinds of aviation safety questions you're likely to encounter. To find out more about the book, visit Speed Break Publishing at orders.speedbreak.com. Whenever there's a fatal airline event, There's usually plenty of media coverage, no matter where that event occurs. The event in Iran on the 2nd of January didn't generate a lot of media coverage, in part because no one was killed. That's where you, the listener, comes in. If you're aware of any photographs, audio recordings, interviews, or other media coverage about this event, please forward those materials, or at least links to those materials, to airsafe.com. Anything that you forward to airsafe.com will allow the aviation safety community to have a better understanding of this event. Well, it looks like that's all the time we have for today. Before we end this conversation, I'd like to remind all my listeners that this podcast is produced by the Airsafe.com Foundation, a nonprofit organization that supports a number of efforts to further the public's understanding of aviation safety and aviation security. For information about the Foundation, or to make a tax-deductible donation, please visit Airsafe.org. You can check out the other Airsafe.com podcasts at podcast.airsafe.org. For more information about airline safety, you can find us at airsafe.com. That's A-I-R-S-A-F-E dot com. Or type the words airline safety into your favorite search engine. We're probably on the first page of results. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.